So in today's video, I'm looking at a new set of irons that have been in my bag for eight or nine months. But what I'm most interested in is how good they are, but most importantly, are these the future of golf? Now I know what you're thinking, the future of golf, that's quite a claim, isn't it? So these must be something absolutely spectacular. So when I'm looking for a new set of irons, for me, I'm looking for something that looks good, feels good, performs kind of how I would expect the particular loft of iron to perform. And I think a lot of golfers will say, is it good value? Now this set of irons, like I said, have been in my bag since last summer and I hadn't done a review on them because I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. But they're from a company called Tacomo Golf. So these are the 201s, they also do a 101. I'm gonna show you the website in a minute. But the important thing for me is, these are a very, very good looking iron. They feel great. And I'm gonna show you some Trackman numbers to show you that they perform how they need to perform. And these ones are a little bit more forgiving. But most importantly, are they the future of golf because of the way you're gonna buy them and the value of those clubs? So the seven iron down behind the golf ball. I think it looks good. My only sticking point is maybe that top line is just a little bit thicker than I would like to see. But it's a forged head. From the back, it's a good looking club. Makes me think a little bit of a ping iron when I look at it. But it's forged, so it's that lovely soft feel. So it's 32 degrees, not super, super strong loft. I'm going to put a swing on it. Kind of feels lovely and soft. That forged feel. And we can see there, 84 mile an hour. 114 ball speed. Spin maybe a little lower than I would like to see. But if we kind of look at optimum, I'm a high trajectory golfer. So that one launching a little bit high, spinning a little bit low but it's saying 167 carry and 172, so it's right out where I would need that to be. So I'll come clean. I was sent these irons. I haven't purchased these, but I've not been paid to review these either. So I got sent four to pitching wedge, and when you go on the site, like I said, I'll show you, you basically pick what specs you want, what shaft you want, and then they get delivered. But the really interesting thing for me is I got four to pitching wedge, and this is the four iron. So if I was 170 for seven iron, should be nearer that kind of 200 carry with four iron. That feels so nice. Good strike, 90 mile an hour club speed, ball speed just under 127. And there's a 197 carry. So absolutely doing what I would expect it to do. I know a lot of golfers will say, I don't really care if my four iron feels soft because I don't carry a four iron, but you can pick what setup of irons you want. But the big thing for me is last year I was playing, I'll name the manufacturer, TaylorMade. I had four iron to pitching wedge, four to six was in the P7MC, seven to pitching wedge was in the P7MB. Those would have cost retail round about $1,500, kind of £1,300. But a set of these is only coming in at under $700 and under £600. And I love the fact that you're getting a fully forged head, some real quality equipment in here, and absolutely, it ticks all the boxes. Like I said, it looks good, it feels good. It performs how I need it to perform. That one a couple of yards back, but that's me, not the club. And when you look at value for money, when something's less than half the price, it's a really, really interesting thing. And obviously the way that they're able to keep that price down is they're selling direct to consumer. Whereas currently, some of the major manufacturers are starting to do this, but the major manufacturer sells to the pro shop or wherever, they're making their mark up to the shop, then the shop are putting 
not a lot of markup on, but putting their markup on to pass the, to the consumer. So there's two lots of profit being made, but also for the direct to consumer, they're not paying tour players tens of millions of dollars a year. Now, are the major manufacturers products better? There's definitely gonna be more spent on R&D and everything that goes that way. But when you do find something that really performs like this, really makes you question, are the major manufacturers potentially going to go down that route. Now, obviously, the bonus to the consumer is lower price. The negative could be you might not get to get custom fitted. So unless you can hit product and then find out lie angle, shaft flex, length, grip thickness, grip type. But maybe, and comment below, maybe you don't care about that. If it's less than half the price, you just want something that looks good. When you hit it, it feels nice. And most importantly, does it perform? I mean, maybe I should just hit four iron more often because they've all been really solid, really good control and kind of getting out there where I need them to get to. So, like I said, from my perspective, and these have stayed in my bag for nine months. So it's a good looking club, it feels good, it's great value. And I'm lucky I know my specs. So it was easy for me to go online, but let's just have a look, quick look at the website and look at the couple of different models and see if you were interested, what you'd be doing. Right, so when you log onto the website, very clean, easy to see. You can see the 101, the 201 and the wedges. So for argument's sake, we go on here and we can see your different options down there, 101, 101T. And it gives you a little bit of an idea as to what they're for. Distance meets forgiveness, players distance iron, Forged players cavity back, so kind of like the idea of that for me. And then a forged muscle back and players cavity for the 301. Now, for the ones I've got, what I really liked about these is, like I said, you can potentially, at the moment, only right-handed in stock. You can pick what shaft you want and then go down from there. Now, as you scroll down, you can see the different benefits of the irons, but what I really like there is you get to look at the specs. So you get to see like the seven iron there isn't super cranked on loft, which is why I'm not hitting it super, super long. But there we go. You've got much better understanding of maybe how far the ball should be going with different irons. As you go through the different irons, there'll be different options on there, but it's very clean, very easy to buy. You can see there the set, great price for a really high quality set of irons. So like I said, not really a full in-depth review on the iron. You know, it looks good, it feels good, it performs how I want it to perform. It's been in my bag for nine months, which is a decent length of time for a set of irons for me. But I've been out on the course and I've played it and I love the way it interacts, the sole with the, the turf when you're out there. But it was more a case of, are we gonna see more and more companies selling direct to consumer with high quality product like Tacoma have done. I think we will see more and more of it. But I also do think we'll start to see the major manufacturers maybe going a little bit more direct to consumer. I know in America at the moment, some of the manufacturers are already doing that with certain products. Definitely the negative is you might not, particularly in driver and things, have that ability to hit product to know whether it's right for you. But if you're paying that less money, maybe it's worth that risk. For me, if I'm talking about Tacomo irons, the 201, which I've been sent, I think is a great iron. And definitely for the time being, that's gonna stay in my bag. But comment below, have you bought these? Would you buy these? And do you think that this business model is potentially the future for golf equipment?